Reverend Ellison Mark from Faith United Methodist Church of Torrance. The biblical scriptures say, blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. I would like to offer a Christian prayer for the lives of those lost. Creator God, in the world that is so vast, yet so small, we are overwhelmed by its complexity, yet we are reminded how tightly our lives are knit together. The old lies of extraction and exploitation have laid waste to our planet and have oppressed our siblings in every land. Lead us out into the wilderness beyond self-satisfaction, beyond denial, beyond plunder, and teach us new ways to live simply, humbly, and close to the earth. Lift up the lives of those who have died during this great pandemic, and let us remember them by lifting up their names. In your many names we pray. Amen. Amen. This morning, as we gather to lift up the 113 lives of loved ones lost to COVID in the KI and Sakura Gardens facilities in Los Angeles, on Lincoln Heights, at Boyle Heights, and in Gardena, we wish to offer comfort to the families of those who have passed in the last year after having contracted the coronavirus. Yet, we are reminded that during this pandemic, there are multiple travesties and tragedies and victims involved in our story today. In the last year under the safer at home lockdown mandate of pandemic, I as a senior pastor of Faith United Methodist Church in Torrance have officiated countless memorials for our seniors in our church and our community. This COVID pandemic that we have been living through these last 11 months have been complicated to say the least and has complicated everyone's lives and not one soul untouched complicated in the way down to the very way we are able to offer care and comfort to our bereaved how much easier would it be to just say as we lift up the lives of those who passed that ojisan or obachan lived a good long life but how much more difficult has it been to say that our beloved have died from COVID, contracted in the care homes that they were residing, that were meant to receive Ayashi care, treatment, or recovery, or rehabilitation, or living out the last years of their lives? In my own congregation, family members have lost parents and grandparents in their 90s and 100s to COVID during their residence at KI facilities, both here and in Gardena. And today, in our remembering the many whose lives have passed in this last year, we also remember the living. The 68 residents at Sakura Gardens who are at risk of being evicted and transferred into two of the international developer Pacifica Company's highest infection rated care homes endangering and risking the lives of those whom we should be lifting up and revering as our elders. Those lives whose dignities should not be taken away once again, as many had when they lived through the concentration camps during World War II, or the racial discrimination that many faced after the war, including Pacifica's implicit erasure of culture as they have begun to change the culturally sensitive living environments of the residents of KI and Sakura Gardens in turn for a profit. Today, we gather as people of faith, interfaith denominations coming together to recognize the humanity and dignity of all lives, and that for our seniors, I as a Christian standing with other faiths to call on Pacifica, to have a higher standard of living and care for our seniors. For Christians, this is the season of Lent, a call to repent and change our ways. Pacifica, it is not too late. Repent for the sake of our elders. Repent for it is time to change your ways. Thank you. Yeah,